I got the rifle for you. Go ahead, take your best shot. What goes down a chimney up and up a chimney down? Mm. Ah! Oh. Ah! What goes down? Oh. Holy lack of answers, Batman. Well, be patient, my oh. good chum. But he's beating the back goo out of you. Well, I, I gotta come up with it. You better find out, Batman, because we're gonna become bat goo. And the Joker skin. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we got them all. The full collection of the DC Detective Comics Heroes of Gujitsu's. Woo! We got them all the way from Superman. And then we have the classic Batman. And so then we got our Aquaman, Cyborg, the metallic Batman versus the Riddler. And then of course the classic Batman versus the Joker. We got the Flash. We have the regular Batman. Then we have the Super Goo Batman. Woo! Actually, he's been having too many hamburger cheeseburgers at McDonald's. He's getting to become Fat Man, and he is huge. So we're going to cover each one of them one by one. In fact, some of these we already went over in earlier videos. I'm going to splice all those videos into this one. So you get one-stop shopping, and we'll also cover them the latest and the greatest ones, including... That's right, the Riddler. And what's interesting about these guys here that Moose already released out like several months ago with Superman, The Flash, Batman, and Batman versus the Joker is that on the back, like even for The Flash, there's only three you can collect, right? In the DC Comics, Batman, Superman, and The Flash. And then even on the back of Batman versus the Joker, those are the only three you can collect, right? But after Moose got these out and they started releasing like the newer ones, like Cyborg, look at the back of that. And how many can you collect there? It includes the original three, plus Aquaman, the Cyborg, and classic Batman. So only the newer packages show the newer and latest greatest updates. Okay, let's go ahead and open these guys up. Here we go. There's our Flash, he's got the bolt. He stretches up three times its size. It says he's super gooey. And look at his goo feeling. It contains lightning bolts. That's super cool. I'm really excited to like squeeze them and see those lightning bolts in them. And they look kind of sharp, so it could puncture it. Well, that's what we're here to find out, aren't we? And then on the back. A little bit about him, it says, with the superhuman speed, the Flash is the fastest man alive. Squeeze his body to see his lightning bolt feeling, stretch and squish to help him fight crime and protect the city. That's what it says, <laughs> stretch and squish to help him fight crime. Squish, 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 squish. All of a sudden, the crime is foiled. He dropped it, he says, he's squishing a super goo Flash. I'm not gonna steal any more here. Here's some money, here's some interest for me wasting your time. And there's only three to collect in the DC, well, at least for now. You got Batman, Superman, and you got the Flash up there. And that's cool, and you can see the unique goo feelings for him. So you can see Flash has got the bolts and the Batman Batman's got the bats. Now, what other character had the bats? And I'm not talking about DC. If you can think Bat Axe a while ago, you'll know that Bat Axe, Bat Axe was the one who had the bats in him, right guys? Oh man, I'm excited to go ahead and uh, review him as well. As soon as we get him, they are just kind of doing dribs and drabs with these. We get them as soon as we can. So you guys want to subscribe and also like while you're there. You're there, just hit the like. But subscribe so that way, as soon as we get them, you guys can see what's coming out. So don't forget the warning guys, do not heat or microwave, do not bite or pierce, do not leave in direct sunlight you know you leave them out in the car leave in the vehicle it says on a hot day it's just gonna have issues you know you don't know what's gonna do it's, it's plasticky jelly it's gonna like start bending do not wrap or tie the product around anyone's head neck or arm leg keep away from pets i mean how much warning and details do you need don't throw it under somebody's skateboard as they roll over and they hit the you know because it stops them i mean just be careful that's all i can say here it has more caution not suitable for children under the age of three adult supervision should be encouraged for young children if the product ruptures and liquid and contact Contacts the skin, wash with clean water. Uh, do not eat, drink contents. Filler contains color which may stain some fabrics or surfaces. Wipe affected area with warm, damp sponge using caution with regards to the color fastness of the material. So it may just stain right into it. And you know what? I don't even know what's inside of them. I, it, lightning bolts, yeah, but I mean, is it clear goo? Because if it's clear and you know, and it accidentally explodes on the carpet, you just pat it down, wipe it up, and you know, you wouldn't know. But if it was red goo, okay, well, there you go. Um, excessive stretching or abrasion may damage toy. Hey, guys, I'm trying to read this as fast as I can because I'm trying to do like flat. So if I don't try to act like this, then you know what I'm saying. Because if I could speed it up, then you won't see here because we've got to review and get them out. We haven't gotten out of the product yet. But when we do that, then you'll see what we're talking about, okay? Excessive stretching or abrasion may damage a toy, discard, or broken retro toy immediately. Please retain packaging details for future reference. Colors and contents may vary. And guys, for us collectors, you don't want to damage the package, but you have a little indent that you can pinch above and below it and then tear it open, right? But if I cut from the bottom here, like I do in most of the other packages, like I did with Marvel, then I can just pull it out, keep the packaging, retain it, and put it back in the package and make it look like Toy Story. Hey, he never opened it. He's brand new. Besides, I have a story to tell about this toy. I'll ask you a question. When did they first come out with Flash? What year? And Jimmy came, you guys, so I don't have to go ahead and look up on the internet by myself. Camera mom spoiled it. You want to hear it? No. 
was just talking to you. Yeah, but she says it was 1940. Try to edit that out of it. Of course, I'm the editor, so too late. 1940s when Flash came out, the hero. See, back then, guys, we read comics. It wasn't like a cartoon. I mean, they still come out with comic books, right? In fact, they had the Sunday uh, newspaper. We used to Sunday morning, used to read the comics, you know? Then we had Saturday morning cartoons. That's right. You don't see those anymore. Local television stations, they didn't have YouTube or any of these cable networks or anything like that. Guys, I missed out on so much TV. <laughs> you guys have it so good. I got so much catching up to do. I'm trying to watch all these shows. I can't keep up with all of them. See, not only do I have to do my research on watching Gujitsus, but also I gotta like watch all these characters and find out what's the Flash, what's his deal, what does he do? Guess what guys, the Marvel. I know it's not DC, it's a separate company. But they came out with the four packs here, guys. So I know over the past several months, if you're like me, you've been collecting these. Well, now you get all of them. You get Spider-Man, the Iron Man, the Hulk, and Captain America all in one. Target had them on sale for like 25 bucks. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, score! That was brought to you by a dad. How far are we into this video and I haven't opened it yet? <laughs> Yeah, guys, we thought we could do this video in two minutes. I mean, come on, it's simple. Just showing the front and the back for us collectors, reading the instructions, and... Oh, wow. That was a flash. Cool. Hey, he does feel squishy, gushy, gushy, gooey. Oh, oh guess what, guys? It's lightning bolt. <laughs> it's lightning bolt. It's duds. Now, this is cool. It was like either one or the other, because he's got his... It looks like just painted on booties there. His booties don't come off. It would have been cool if it did, you know. Uh, I digress. Well, first of all, um, on the back of his head, all new material, content gel, synthetic rubber. So you got gel in there. What's this synthetic rubber? Well, it's the lightning bolts. Oh, and look, he's got on his wrist there, he's got lightning bolts. See, red. It's all red. Little lightning bolts going around his wrist. I like his little like speed. I, I wonder if he got that from the gods. You know, that he had like Zeus and then they had that guy, the speedy dude, delivery dude. You know, where he's got wings on his feet and bells on his toes. Let's <laughs> make it up as I go. Huh. Can he twist his head? No. So we got his, his duds. We'll just take his lightning bolt off. Oh, that's just cool. Okay, here we go for the squeezy wheezy guys. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, you know what? What does the lightning bolts feel like? Oh, they're kind of like rubbery. Yeah, that's what it says on the back of his neck. And you're not gonna pierce or poke it because it's very rubbery. It's not plastic, which is good because if it was plastic and you kept like squeezing it like that. Oh my goodness, that would poke a hole. Guys, quick, how many lightning bolts are in here? I don't know, but wouldn't it be interesting to find out? Watching our next episode. Oh, so you guys with the painted on insignia there, you can see when you squeeze it, it's gonna start rubbing off guys. Well, like his feet, and that's going to rub off too. I mean, you can see it's just painted on. But the good news is, is that even if it kind of rubs off or completely rubs off after many uses, that you still got some cool feelings, goo feelings. And that's what it's all about. It's not about what's on the outside accounts. It's what's on the inside. When that thing breaks open, the inside's out, then we start to cry. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's go ahead and stretch him. Oh, he stretches pretty good. He's separate. Oh, look, <laughs> he got some flash bolts up his uh, left arm. Nothing up his right arm. And he spins, although look at that. His head is like way over here. He's kind of doing some rap move. He's break dancing, literally he's breaking. He should capring pretty good. He's flash, he should go very far in a flash. That whizzed in my ear. <laughs> Got camera mom in the ear, I whizzed her. It was way over here. How could it whiz you like that? I mean, the way it just uh, spin. Now he went far, he went about six, seven feet. He's just going. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, he's discombobulated. Body is not connecting here. He just looks like he's got one foot there. Hop, scotch, hop, 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 hop. He could be a foosball player. He kicks him right, right there. Red Rover, Red Rover, send the Joker right over. Let's see if he can do it. Wait a second. No, no, you know what, it's the belt. Okay, now he's got his lightning bolt belt on, let's see. Oh, you see that? Oh, do it again, <laughs> I, I missed. Slow motion. You make a great waiter. And you got your knife, you know, cut your steak, and uh, here's a drink I sent you. There you go. Uh, drink it up. I'll show you. Go, 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 go. I mean, could he drink and eat that fast? He'd give himself a tummy ache, but then he'd digest it so fast. He is the flash, and he is super cool, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. High five. <laughs> Batman! Guys, we got the two here. I'm just spitting and gleaning all over the place. I'm so excited. We got the two pack of Batman versus the Joker. No joking, guys. I'm serious. Joker, that's his job. Batman and I, we're serious. We punch. 
And the uh, line. All right, the punchline. Okay. So guys, take a look. Batman's just taking a slug into him, and he's just still laughing right there. And you can see it's Batman versus the Joker. And then Batman, he's got his goo feeling. You can see he's got bats in him. I mean, he's always had bats in his belfry. He's super squishy. And then you got the Joker. He's got ooze feeling. Remember the Batman with Jack Nicholson? We fell into some like toxic ooze. Well, guess what his goo is? It's toxic ooze. I mean, it's all over him, burned his face, but maybe he swallowed a bit. Or maybe it started a chain reaction chemical and he's just oozing with this toxic. So guys, you know, be careful. This is toxic. So you can see it. It's really cool. He's got swirlies. And you can see that he's super goopy. Switch over to the back. And then Batman versus the Joker. First of all, Batman, always ready to fight crime. Batman response to Gotham City's call for help. Stretch and squeeze his squishy bat filled gooey body as he protects the people of Gotham City in a way never seen before. Versus the Joker. A criminal mastermind, the Joker creates chaos throughout Gotham City. Squish and squeeze the Joker to see his goo filled body stretch and swirl inside. Will the supervillain have the last laugh over Batman? Batman doesn't laugh. He's always serious. That's a Joker. I'm gonna go get him and I'm gonna have the last laugh. <laughs> he just sounds like he's got issues there. Maybe that's why it's his arch nemesis because the Joker's always having fun. Batman's always serious. Like peanut butter and chocolate, Reese's peanut butter, throw them together and they make a happy couple. And then you can collect them all. I mean, you got the Flash, Batman, and Superman. And notice that Batman, he's in black. And then in the two pack, you can see he's in blue. And you know what? The blue, if you guys watch the 60s, Batman, oh my goodness. That was awesome. Batman, whenever he punched somebody, you hear the sound effect, smack, a trumpet that would blare out. And then you see the words like pow, biff, boof. That's the blue Batman here. They updated him. He's got no silly like uh, blue pajamas now. You know, with the more modern Batman. He was the dude in black, like uh, Will Smith. We are the men in black. Galaxy's Defenders now. Now it's Gotham City's Defenders. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and open them up now. You know me. So instead of just, you know, with a little tear there, instead of pinching above and below it and tearing it open like it wants you to, it's very tempting. If you want to keep this as a collector's package and then just store them back in, then what I do is I cut the bottom. Holy sharp blade, Batman. We're gonna cut you out of this mess. And Robin's freaking out about everything. It's like, holy lack of utility belt, because that's what they had without their utility belts. They were just like dudes in PJs, you know, in tights. I mean, what could they do? And then Batman from the 60s show, he responds, he goes, Robin, my good chum. Oh, that's okay, good chum. We'll get through this. And he always had chum, my good chum. I mean, he wasn't out in the ocean like he was some chum for the sharks. No bats in his belfry. He was still positive. So there's the knife, and let's cut open the bottom. Oh man, that knife doesn't do corners, but these little skeezers do. I'm like a man now. Man stuff happening here, guys. Look at that, woo! Oh man, I tell you guys, I love this. The colors are fabulous. Wow. Let's take a look at our Batman. We'll save the last last for last with a Joker. Oh my gosh, he's got a real cape. What did Edna say on The Incredibles? No capes. I mean, back then they had to have a cape, you know, because you know what? It was like Dracula. Dracula had a cape. He had to have a disguise before Batman got his mask. He had to go like this. I'm Batman. But now it's like, come on, clean that up. Put a mask on. So Batman's got more gears on him. He's got, oh, his, oh, you know what? It looks like they put a little rubber cement on his utility belt. Just a little bit. First, let's get a snapshot of Batman's cheesy grin. His head, head doesn't move and his cape, Gosh, it's right on there, but it's super cool. And look at that. You really know he's riding his Batmobile or bat bike. Well, no, that's Robin. Robin does the bat thing, right? Now he could have a bike. You know, so the utility belt, oh, it comes right off. I mean, without that, what is he? He doesn't punch hard. He's got no super strength unless he works out a little bit. Nothing like Captain America. So his utility belt and his wits is what he's got. And he's got a lot of wit. And look, he's got his Batman signal right there. Awesome. I really like Batman. I mean, it's fun. Batman's cool. He's got a cool cape and everything. So should we squeeze him right now? Let's go ahead and just do this and find those. Well, you saw it on the package. He was batty. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! <laughs> That's cool. Those bats are awesome, guys. And he's super squishy. He's got air bubbles. He's got bats in his belfry. Okay, I can squeeze the bats. I bet they're rubbery. Yeah, very rubbery. So there on the back of his head, all new material, content gel, synthetic rubber. So there's the synthetic rubber. It's those bats. Oh, and look at that. He's got his little cool little uh, fins here. It was like steel or something because some ninja guy was coming after him and he's just deflecting him with this. And you see sparks. I mean, super cool, guys. 
So the bat's painted on, so if you go ahead and explode that, I think eventually that bat's gonna rub off here. But it's still super cool because even if it rubs off, you still got the inner goo inside with the bats. What was the only other gujitsu that actually had bats in his belfry in his belly? It was Bat Axe. And you know what? Bat Axe had also blue, but the bats in him that Bat Axe had was red. He's got the bat signal, so if he needs Batman to come help him. Oh, look at that, that is so cool. All the little bats. So let's go ahead and give Batman a stretch. Stretches three times. Let's see. Oh, you can see the bats kind of coming out to his arms. In fact, can we get a bat out into his arm? Oh, yeah, we got a bat there on his right arm. Super cool. He stretches really well, guys. And let's do a Capring. How far will he go? Oh, he is really stretchy. I'm going to do it four times the stretchy. I don't know. Maybe I'm up to four times. Oh, okay. I got to try it one more time because I don't think I got that right. Maybe I'll do it from this angle. Oh, see that? You see how he's coming in like this? If I do it from out like that, but then when he's in like this, then I can really get that. Oh, that was eight feet. That was eight to nine feet. I just had to do it right. I had to turn him around. I mean, that's what we do at Adventure Fun. We test these for capring values. In fact, I think he's got the highest capring value I've ever had. Okay, her mom's trying to capring me. See that? Talent's just abused at Adventure Fun like none other. You know, it's not so much that camera mom throws some food down in the basement when she wants to feed me. It's just that the rats have the numbers and I can't get it to them fast enough. Batman, you're my hero. I mean, he could bring, he's the one that could bring the furthest out of all the Gujitsus guys. All of them. Hear that? I just really put my thumb into it. Oh, that was super cool. Okay, guys, now let's take a look at the Joker. I mean, look at that mug. He's just happy. He's always happy. Hey, with the chemical spills he's been through, oh, he's got to have a good laugh to pull himself out and buy his bootstraps out of that tragic mess. Let's take a look at the back of his neck. Now this would be the time where you want Gothers Gate. Gotham City, Gothic, Gothers Gate. All new material content gel. You know what? His skin seems a little sparkly. I don't know if you can see that, but just a little bit sparkly. I don't know if this light's gonna help at all. Yeah, he sparkles, he twinkles. And you know what I like about the Joker? As happy as he is, he mocks the formal dress wear there. I mean, you think of the Joker and you're just always laughing. You don't care too much about anything you're stealing. You wouldn't dress up for that, you know. But hey, he's got his classic old, it's not a bow tie. I don't even know what the, these are called. These funny ties that come down here, but not all the way down like a normal tie, but not all the way short like a bow tie. Oh, and look, he's got a little flower, guys. This would be great for like opening up when we do the reveal on what's inside Gujitsu's is to poke a little hole in here and just squeeze out his flower. <laughs> oh, I just squoze it. You see that? Oh yeah, look at that toxic mess. And look, it's glitter, very glittery, green glittery. That's cool, I like that. Maybe we could see it better with a little bit more light. Oh, look at that. I like that toxic glitter stuff, guys. Definitely not made for kids at all because you know, what kid would touch this stuff? Parents, keep them away. <laughs> it's funny because it's like their stances here. He's doing a jig. That man is hopping on one foot. Da -na 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 -na. Hey, da -na 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 -na. hey. I mean, I like his pinstripe pants. He's got the nice suit. If he's gonna steal, he's gonna commit crimes, he's gonna do it in style. So let's go ahead and do a stretch here, guys. Oh, yeah, it's like Flash. Remember when we did Flash, guys? His head goes over here. Oh yeah, it does. And it didn't do it with Batman. He keeps his head right in the center. So let's see, and you know what? He's kind of going in like this, so I'm wondering if I can capring him just like that. Okay, try to beat Batman. I'm gonna pull him back as far as I can. No. I mean, we have about three levels. Batman took it to a whole new level. And then Joker actually did six, seven feet. And then you have four or five feet. And then the ones that just when they got corn syrup in it, because you just can't stretch them like that. And they just flop down. I want to see what it looks like when I shine the light on Batman. Hey, we're signaling Batman. We're shining the light through him up there. Batman. Now we can see more of the bats, right guys? So guys, we're now turning off the lights. We're using a black light to shine them because you can see things that you couldn't see before, like Batman. I mean, his head in the black light looks pretty cool. Uh, well, at least the top of it, you know, that's the only thing that really stands out. Not much else except for some threads on them or something that seems to be glowing. And the bats, they don't pop in the black light, but I'll tell you who does. Our main star of attraction, <laughs> no, I sound like Shaggy. The Joker, look at his face. It's in fuego. He's glowing, man, in his purple suit. And you know what look even cooler? I bet when we squeeze him. Let's see the toxic. I'll turn him over on his back. Oh, yeah, that's pretty green. Toxic, that pops pretty well in the black light too, guys. You guys have black lights. I mean, you can have total fun in this. Now put in the comments below before I do the last final test of this. Will the Joker have the last laugh? laughs even when he's knocked down he always gets a last laugh <laughs>
Okay, guys, we finally finished our jujitsu. What do you call them? The five? Well, we got the two packs over here if you watch that video. And then we opened him up by himself because we weren't able to get all these at once. So finally, we got Batman and we got Superman. And if you'll notice, you got the 1960s Batman with the 1960s Joker. He had the blue outfit, but now he's modernized. He's in black. He's a man in black. And then, of course, Superman, he's always worn his tights, his red and blue. And so he's good. Let's start with our Batman. You can see that he's super squishy, and for his goo feeling, well, you can see him squeeze there. He's got bats there, but you can see it over on the other side that it contains goo feeling. And then let's go ahead and flip him over, and you'll see a little bit about Batman. Always ready to fight crime, Batman responds to Gotham City's call for help. Stretch and squeeze his squishy, bat-filled, gooey body as he protects the people of Gotham City in a way never seen before. And you can see down below, the other two that you can collect are Flash and Superman, but as you discovered in the two-pack, not only can you collect Batman again, but this time in the 60s version. I mean, I think he looks cooler in the blue. PJs. But you also get Joker. You can't get anywhere else but in the two pack. Super awesome. And then you can see their unique goo feelings. Superman, he's all blue. And then Flash, as we saw, he's got those yellow lightning bolts. And then you got Batman, he's got the yellow bats. And then you know what? Because it's got goo feelings, guys, if this accidentally breaks open after a lot of wear and tear, well, with Batman, what kind of goo are you coming out? You know, I don't know. I mean, you got yellow bats in them, but is the goo inside clear? Because if it's clear and it explodes on the carpet, hopefully not, then you know, you just dab it up and probably no big deal. But if it's black inside, Ooh, what a stain. Cool, so Batman, let's go ahead and open him up. And to do this, because I'm a toy collector, guys, I mean, I don't want to destroy the package, but to open it up, you can pinch him below the little divot there to tear it open. Fine, but I like to cut it at the bottom and then pull him out, and then I can put him back in, and he looks good as new. We got, hey, our knife, yellow, goes with him. Perfect. So let's do that, and uh, go ahead and cut here. Oh. All right. Oh, cool. I like it. Sweet. I mean, he just looks like the blue Batman, doesn't he? Well, okay, he's not blue, he's black. I mean, everything's the same, right? Oh, okay, so he's got his yellow bat symbol, and oh, this one's already rubbing off, the blue Batman in the two packs. And the same utility belt, yellow. Yeah, the same stance, but you know, he's got the blue gloves and the helmet. Here, everything's black. And he's got the cape. Well, that's super cool. Man riding his Batmobile down there with the sunroof, the top open, you know, he's cool. And look at his face, he's got that, I'm coming for you, Joker. Before we go ahead and stretch him, let's take a look at the back and find out the contents on the back of his noggin. Now, all new material content, gel, synthetic rubber. So it's the gel inside, but the rubber, it's those bats. He's got bats in his belfry. But before you do that, let's take a look at his utility belt, because like I pined in the last video, what's Batman without his utility belt and his wits? Because other than that, he's just a normal human being, you know, just like he's got to, you know, lift some weights so he can have some strength to punch the Joker. You know, in the utility belt in the 60s version, when they had that, I mean, Robin was all about it. He's like, holy lack of utility belt, Batman. What are we going to do? They had everything in here. They had like laughing gas and stuff. They throw it out there. Okay, so they glued the belt uh, to it just a little bit, a little dab. Goes a long way, right? So he can still take off his utility belt. That's super cool. Let's see those yellow bats. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. You got those little like air pockets in there. Super cool. In fact, if you feel it, that's the rubber, synthetic rubber. Super cool. How's he stretch? Oh yeah, he's gonna capring just like Batman here. If you saw the two packs, the 60s Batman, I think he'll do even better. I think he's gonna capring, but before we do, oh, let's see if we can get like a bat in his arm. I just wanna see what happens when you stretch the arm, he's got a bat in it. Oh, there's some bats in his arms. It's hard to see, you know, the, the gel inside, I wonder if it's actually really clear and it's just colored by black skin or is it actually kind of a grayish goo? Awesome, okay, because he's kind of curved in like this, if I grab him on the inside, it'll compring better than on the outside because then the compring just, you know, uh, that's a little bit hard. So let's see how far he goes. Okay, this Batman, if you watch the two pack, it was like eight, nine feet. Okay, I'm stretching him, guys. I'm going back. Is that four times? Am I breaking the rules here? Holy lack of reading the warning, Batman. He didn't read it. He's stretching it four times. My good chum, I'll be able to survive this. Uh, I didn't get the good one on that one. He went around six or seven feet. We're going to have to try that again. Maybe I was like trying too hard, right? Maybe I just got to get that thumb in there. See that thumb? The thumb does it, guys. The thumb does it. Keep that thumb going. Okay, he did it. He matched Batman right here. Just had to get that thumb action going there. He went, uh, gosh, eight and a half feet. Okay, we're gonna put Batman over in our Hall of Fame here with Flash. So there we go, we got the two packs, then we have the individual packs. I mean, hey guys, which one's your favorite Batman? Is it the 60s version or is it the man in black? 
I mean, the more modernized Batman, where everything's black. He's the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Batman Begins. That was super cool. I thought, you know, I don't want to see these prequels and stuff, but man, they did a good job. Now for Snoopy Man. Super cool, guys. Here we go. You can see when you squish him, well, you can't really tell with this big S on his chest there, but it says he's super stretchy. And you can see over here that he contains gel filling. So with the gel filling, I mean, I'm just going to poke him right here, but that's like, okay. So that's corn syrup, guys. So on the back, Superman. Fighting evil Superman uses a super stretchy goo-filled body to battle for truth and justice. Squeeze and stretch his body to see him flex his muscles like never before. Yeah, you know, we're here to pump you up. He's like, I'm here to punch the evil out of you. So instead of opening him up with the yellow knife, because, you know, it sounds like more truth, justice, the American way, but it doesn't say it here. Oh, I got another knife to open him up. Yay. I mean, hey, he's got the red and blue. I mean, where's the white? But that's all right. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut him open. Oh, did you see that? I got the package. He's not a collectible. I can't hide it. The storage is ruined. This one's a sharper blade, guys. I've used this in a lot of videos. This one is like... That one's really sharp. You guys be careful with knives, you know. Don't do it like I do it. Just go ahead and pinch above low, tear it open. But if you really want to, you know, I don't know, maybe poke it with scissors and cut. Superman's looking cool. I'm gonna like his goo feeling. Goo yeah! I know, I stole it from one of you guys who made a comment. I do read comments, guys. Thanks for putting them in. I'm trying to catch up to all of them. I will someday. I'm grateful, because there's a lot of people who are leaving comments. Thank you so much. Superman looks super cool. And I'm not just throwing super words out there. I mean, be super. I don't know if you can see it on the back of his head. All new material content gel. So that's the corn syrup, right? Oh, look, his cape. He's got an S on his cape. Super cool. And that's not as flexible as Batman's. And, you know, his head doesn't turn. His head doesn't turn. Here, go ahead and take a look. He's got, you know, kind of a nice little grin there. I'm fighting for truth and justice the American way. So, you know, where most superheroes, they put the mask on first. He does it backwards. He takes the mask off when he wants to fight. He disguises himself as a normal human being by putting on glasses. See? Guys, if I take off the glasses. Now I'm Superman. I put it back on. I'm Clark Kent. Yeah. Welcome to the Daily Bugle. I busted camera mom up. She's trying so hard not to laugh. You hear Snickers on her side. I said, shh, these guys got to hear what I'm saying, you know? So he's got an S on his chest, and I, I assume that's just going to... Oh, his belt. So his belt. Yeah, a little bit. Glue there. Okay. Uh, some rubber cement. Keeps his uh, tights up. There we go. That's cool. Look at that blue. Oh, it takes Superman... Oh, look at his S. <laughs> I'm Superman. Oh, we got to get the flashlight. I'm going to see if I can do this. Let's see if it looks any cool. I'll try to stretch him across the, the light here. You see anything yet, camera mom? Does it look cool? Is he blue? Okay. I, the blue looks super cool, guys. And I don't know if it's the skin or the goo inside is actually blue. And just let me have an ADAD moment because I want to do the flashlight here. I want to see what it looks like here. See if this, like... Does that help at all? Yeah, he's got to let the bats out once in a while, you know, otherwise you go batty. It's already rubbing off. I mean, I'm just really pulling on it and stuff. So, you know what? That's okay, guys. I mean, it'd be nice if it was somehow fused on there, but you know what? The very least, you still got his mug that will never stop smiling, but you can always squeeze him and, and look at those bats. Super cool. You know what? You can even switch it. Does Superman really need a utility belt to help scale walls and like little grappling hooks and stuff? I don't know. Single bound. That's what he does. So there we go. We're stretching him. Maybe that's about four times. Oh, there you go. He's got his head. You do it with the Joker. It's like over here. You do it with Flash. He's over here. And it's like with Batman, his head's right in the middle when you stretch him. But his head shifts over. And he's not going to compreen, guys, just because, you know, it's like eh, corn syrup. But he does look like an orangutan when you stretch him out. <laughs> I really like the corn syrup, guys, in here. The stretchiness. That's what makes it fun. You just feel the impressions go in. Just like some soft foam, you know. But, you know, it's corn syrup. Syrup. Squishy. Feels good. Okay, guys, before we hit the next section of the latest Gujitsus, I wanted to go over an ADAD moment. Attention deficit as dad. ADAD moment. Because guess what, guys? These are the two that I have in Gujitsu, but I also have them as skins. Now, you know what I'm talking about if you're a Fortniter. You play Fortnite because they talk about skins. I actually have the Superman skin. And the Joker skin. And guys, I also have... You know what, guys? Are they gonna come out with the Wonder Woman Gujitsu here? I don't think to date, Moose has come out with any girl Gujitsus. This would be the first one. It'd be on cutting edge. Maybe she'd be an ultra rare Wonder Woman. 
And her gujitsu, just like her plane, it's invisible. There'd be nothing inside you could see it. Guys, you want to like and subscribe because when we get the latest word, we'll let you know. In fact, word out on the street is that Moose is going to put out series two and three on the DC comics. Are they going to be regular size gujitsus, minis, or super goos? Now, guys, we already have him, the classic Batman, right here, and it came in with the versus pack, the Joker versus Batman. So anyways, here he is in his one hit single, Classic Batman. You can see right there, it says Classic Batman Hero Pack, and he's super stretchy and he contains gel filling. And then on the back, Always on call to fight crime. Classic Batman is ready to respond to Gotham City's cry for help. Stretch and squeeze his stretchy goo-filled body as he protects the people of Gotham City in a way never seen before. Then you guys can see all of the different ones you can collect. I mean, besides the ones that we already did. Superman, Batman, and Flash. You got Aquaman and Cyborg. Okay, let's go ahead and open them up. Just cut the bottom. And guys, tell me, is he the same? Wait a second. I noticed that his skin's a little bit darker versus the one we got in the two pack. In fact, this one is stretchy and this one is, he's boingy. And he's got the bats in there. Wait, does he have bat? No, see, there you go, there's the difference. So this one, when you get in the two pack, the versus pack and the Joker, you squeeze them and you get the bats. Now that's super cool. That's worth getting the two pack. See, you can see on the back of their heads, on the back of one is the gel with synthetic rubber and the other one just has gel, right? And then this one is just gel, in other words, it's corn syrup. And you know, you can stretch it and you're just not gonna see any bats. <laughs> I miss my bats. I know. <laughs> I love the bats, the bats are super cool, but hey, you can stretch them. You just can't compring them because with corn syrup, <laughs> he doesn't go anywhere. But when you have bats in your belfry to give you extra lift, fly, be free, my Batman friend. Woo, yes, he went. 15 feet. And then again, it only says you only want to do one rotation. We just go, oh, oh look at that. Oh, that, I got some wind on that one. I'm going to keep doing it. I want to keep, I'm, I got to, I got, oh, oh, wow. I think he's just going to burst on me. I can't, I better not do any more. In fact, you know what? He's, he's bluing on me. <laughs> oh, no. The blue's coming off of his hands. Well, my good chum, time to put me up on the doll stand to preserve my appearance. Let's do Cyborg. Life is a smorgasbord, Cyborg. You know, that was Templeton from Charlotte's Web. That was an AD, AD moment. I have a lot of those. You can see it says right there, Cyborg Hero Pack, and he's super crunchy. It contains marble fillings. So he's got those plastic balls, it looks like, that we found in uh, Giga Tusk in the earlier Gujitsu series. Let's go to the back, and it's the same thing, except we're talking about our Cyborg. With his cybernetic powers and his super strength, Cyborg can take on anything, stretch and crunch his marble-filled body, and help this technological titan fight for justice in a way that only he can. Okay, let's go ahead and cut him open. There we go. Cool. Okay, there's the front of him. He's all gray, not much color to him. And then on the back, not much there, but you can see the back of his head. We got plastic pellets. Cool, now we gotta squeeze them. Oh, you can already hear it. Yeah, you know what? It looks exactly the same as the ones he put in Giga Tusk. Okay, I'll try to get them out as far as I can. They kind of look like marbles. He got some swirls in there, you know, so pretty cool. And how does he sound? And let's see how he stretches. Okay. Now let's see if we can rotate him. Oh, man. Cool. <laughs> you see that? Oh, look at that. It all went to his foot. <laughs> He's like one of the pirates. He's got his pay leg put. You know, went to his. Okay, now it's starting to come out. Should we try it one more time? Yeah. Man, that's that was like I thought that big. All those marbles are just gonna pound me right in the face. Probably ought to wear a face mask. Here we go, guys. For the sake of my YouTubers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it all went down to his left foot. Something about his left foot. Look at that. There are no balls in Everything the is the, is right in his left foot. You have a few balls that's kind of floating up here. That is weird. See that? Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. So that's what you're not supposed to do, guys, but it was super cool. Worked it. Holy oh, yeah. that. And it just pops and it snaps all the way back when you start squeezing that foot. What do you guys think with all the marbles? Do you think it'll go very far? Let's see how far you can go. Okay. Oh, ooh, I'm pulling back really far, really far. Oh, wow. Okay, that went 25 feet. Man, you know how to use technology, cyborg. So guys, a uh, couple of things. One, 
is that we shot it, it, you could hear the rocks just rolling around into it and it hit the top of the treadmill. You, you hear the rocks just like almost scattering. And I think we have a cut, a cut. Look at that, either that or I sneezed on him and there's a little booger. You see, that's what happens when you do what you're not supposed to do. Not much of a mess to clean up except some marbles, you know. The worst thing that could happen is you're with the vacuum and you're like. <laughs> okay, Aquaman. So look, you can see it says Aquaman Hero Pack, and he says he's super squishy. Oh, he's got gel bead filling. Flip it over to the back and then read a little bit more about Aquaman. Aquaman, half human and half Atlantean, Aquaman is the king of Atlantis and defender of Earth's vast oceans. Stretch and squeeze his squishy gel bead filled body and help defend the underwater world. Who's he defending? Sebastian? Jeez, man, you got to have legs to be with the humans in the human world. Otherwise, you must swim like a fish forever down under the sea. And everything else is the same, so let's go ahead and open up upper Aquaman. Oh yeah, now he's got some cool color. I like our Aquaman. Oh, look, there's the front. He's really cool. And then look at his mop. It's all golden. And then you can see the back on his head. Okay, there you go, guys. He's got gel beads. Oh, you know what? I wonder if you can take off his... Oh, I think you can. I mean, he looks super cool with them, but we got to try it. And maybe you can do it and it'll be safe and it'll be okay. But we want to take off his duds because then you'll be able to see when you squeeze more of his beads. That comes off. That's pretty cool. I like that. And you could probably put him on Batman. I don't know. We'll go with him. <laughs> and then Cyborg, give him some color. Hey, you got some color in you. You're looking healthy today. But hey, let's take a look at these beads. Let's flip them over. Oh, cool, all blue green. Maybe it's blue. I think it's blue, those Orbeez. They look super cool. I'm ready to dig into this one after in our next reveal video. What's inside Aquaman? I like them a lot. Green skin, blue Orbeez. And it's fun because you get your Pilates workout here just by squeezing them like this. And it just feels good to work out those fingers, you know. So Cyborg is the one that went the furthest, 25 feet. Oh, oh he's such a little dude. Uh, I'm trying to get it. Okay, here we go. In three, two. Um, no, he got about like 15 feet. Now to like put his duds back on. Dress up doll. I was gonna say dress up dolls. No, we're men. It's action figures. It's like once you take them off, us boys would just be like, whatever. It, he just looks cool with his orange skin on him, you know, the scales. I think out of all of them so far, I think he's my favorite. Okay, so next we're gonna do our versus pack. But you know what guys, Camera Mom brought up a good point. So far, they, I think they have five different Batmans. I mean, you have the Super Goo, and then you have Dark Knight. I mean, he's in black. And then you got the two different classic Batmans, but one is like the corn syrupy one, and then the other one has the bats in it. And then you got this one right here, which is metallic. So, wow, that's pretty cool. Five different Batmans. So let's go ahead and take a look at our versus pack. You see his metallic Batman versus the Riddler. And for our Batman, he contains ooze filling. Oh, and he's super gooey. And then for the Riddler, he contains goo filling. And he's got a bunch of question marks. Huh, I don't know. What kind of goo is that? It's got quite, it, Moose doesn't even know what they're putting inside of his goo. Oh! <laughs> See what he was doing? He was already riddling with my mind. Those question marks, I wasn't sure if it was just metaphorically speaking or they, they haven't figured out what they put in him or you're supposed to figure out, are they really question marks inside of him or are they playing a trick on your mind and you get some sort of other treat inside of him. And then it says he's super squishy. And now for the back. Metallic Batman, always ready to fight crime. Metallic Batman responds to the sea's call for help. Stretch and squeeze his stretchy, ooze-filled body as he protects the people of Gotham City in a way never seen before. Versus the Riddler. With his vast intellect and ingenious traps, Riddler tries to outsmart Metallic Batman. Squeeze and stretch the Riddler's squishy, goo-filled body and see question marks move inside him. Does Metallic Batman have all the answers or will the Riddler be too puzzling for him? There's all the ones you can collect and it doesn't show on the other two packs you can collect this versus pack because it doesn't show Riddler on it. So the only way you're going to know that there's Riddlers by actually seeing them in the store here. Let's go ahead and open them up. Oh man, he's reminding me a lot of Aquaman, that green sheen. Oh, they strapped him in. No, they didn't. We'll have to get our little uh, scissors here. Break that band. I don't think there's any other bands. Nice. First, we'll do our metallic Batman. Looks pretty cool. Oh, he's got a cape. Look at that. If he was in Fortnite, he'd just fly down. And then start getting everybody <laughs> with his guns, but he doesn't have guns. He has a bunch of Chinese throwing darts in the shape of bats. <laughs> okay, then the back here. 
and then the back of his head, and you can see it contains gel. So what kind of gel? First of all, let's see if we can move his utility belt. Without that, he's just a dude in PJs. But let's go ahead and give him a squeezy wheezy. Oh, there you go. Look at all that. It's almost like a snow globe, and you got a lot of silver glitter dots there, but it's very cloudy. Yeah, so it's got glitter dots and swirlies. That's why it looks so murky and cloudy. So our Batman, he's a little bit on the murky side. I mean, he's dark, he's hard to figure out. He is a murky personality. That's our word of the day, murky. If I stretch him and do a lot of roundabouts. What are you doing? I can't do it. <laughs> I'll try to do this again, it was just really weird. Oh, look at that. Let's put this His feet are high. totally. Oh, you're gonna pop it. Oh! <laughs> His pants are falling down his belt. Excuse me, good chums. <laughs> what are you doing to me, man? Get out of my sight. What are you doing? You weird, Batman. <laughs> it's like, I need somebody to give me cover. That's okay. I got you covered. Put up his belt. So here we go, guys. How far can our metallic Batman go? Not it, Just as, about as far as our Aquaman did, maybe 20 feet. Okay, next our Riddler. Okay, cool. I love that green sheen. He's lean, green, and mean. And there's his back, right on the back of his top hat, gel synthetic rubber. Let's go ahead and take a look at his question marks. They're pink, that's cool. Well, those are cool question marks. Oh, they're rubbery, yep. Gel synthetic rubber. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it feels just rubbery, gooey good. Oh, there you go. He's the old St. Patty. He's all green. He's got his top hat. Try to try. Try to find me lucky gold. <laughs> We're going to see how lucky we get when we stretch him. Oh, look, he's got his head going over like that. And then we're going to like do some roundabouts. See him. Oh, look, oh, you see that right there? If I go too hard, that thing's going to probably burst. Okay, we'll keep the reveal, the opening of what's inside in a later video. Let's go ahead and go for the Capring test. Okay, how far can my lucky little St. Patty do do? <laughs> Take us farther, boy. It <laughs> <laughs> fell in my lap. Oh man, even he wasn't sure what was going on. He's the Riddler. He's all full of questions. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll try to get more exact, maybe 16 feet. He's like, I'm ready to pound you, Riddler. He's like, oh, you can't get me, little Batman. And yes, he's got an Irish accent. I got the Riddler for you. Go ahead, take your best shot. What goes down a chimney up and up a chimney down? Mm. Ah! Oh. Ah! What goes down? Oh. Holy lack of answers, Batman. Well, be patient, my... Oh, good chum. But he's beating the Baku out of you. Well, I, I gotta come up with... You better find out, Batman, because we're gonna become Batgoo. Wait a second. An umbrella. Oh. Okay, now time for the Godzilla of Batmans, the King Kong of Batmans, the Super Goo! So there you go, Super Goo Batman Hero Pack. Twist them, stretch them, pull them in a straight jacket like pose, an eight inch Batman, and he's super stretchy and he contains goo filling. So let's go to the back. So it says the same thing as before as you read on the other Batman. And it shows you a little comic strip, it's kind of cool. You can stretch, twist, and squish. Also available are the four and a half inch, the miniature sizes here of Batman, the Flash, and Superman. And it's the same warning, so let's just go ahead and cut them open. Let's see, oh, he's strapped in too. So our Batman needs a little bit of help. Cut rubber bands, and then, oh man, He's Goliath, wow. Oh man, he feels like he ate a lot of donuts. <laughs> That's cool, and here's the back, but look at his cape. <laughs> it's some sort of like fabric. And then you see the back of his head, it's got gel. What about his belt, utility belt? It's just got a little bit of rubber cement on it to keep it in place, but we can take that off, you know? Yeah, that's cool. I guess just start stretching him. Oh. Okay. And you want to see his goo inside? I mean, that's quite the stretch. Whoa. I just feel so good. Let, let's first give you guys a look into his inner goo. Some sort of like gray matter. I mean, for all I know, it could be clear. I mean, look at that. I don't know, should we try to like do some roundabouts? But look, it's so close, he'll just clip me in the chin. Oh man. Oh boy, oh boy. 
he's getting closer to me. <laughs> oh, look, he's, he's already blowing right there up. Oh, <laughs> see his bubble over here on the left side. Oh, that was getting scared. Oh, man, he's really slow in unwinding. Well, after a day of fighting crime, he must have a hard time to unwind. See his knuckles there? It kind of reminds me of Wolverine, his little claws. Be sure to like and subscribe, because if you don't, I'm going to fight the crime of not liking and subscribing in your city. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.